Countless times, I have stumbled upon folks who strongly believe that joining the ranks of the rich requires some support from a wealthy relative or a billion dollar idea. I have also seen folks who affirm wealth comes from being dubious. Whilst getting help from a relative or venture capitalist could give you a head start towards becoming wealthy, it usually all comes down to your drive to succeed and smart financial planning. And this is why many people go back to being broke even after having a taste of riches. Rich people are very particular about building wealth and staying wealthy. Here are four ways that they build wealth that you may have been overlooking. They let their money work for them, not the other way around. Conventional education teaches us to go to school, get good grades, secure a job, and start moving up the ladder. What your parents and teachers never told you was that getting a job and working hard to build comfort was a slow road. I mean, I'm all in for going to school and getting a degree. I hold a mechanical engineering degree myself. But then, relying on your full-time job to build wealth means you will be limited by the number of hours you put in every week. Rich people understand that building wealth doesn't always require hard work. A lot of times, it requires smart work. If your goal is to become wealthy, then you must look out for opportunities to generate new sources of passive income. Passive income sources do not require your full attention. They can run on autopilot mode. Some popular passive income sources include investing in real estate, index fund, stocks, and royalties on creative works. Here's a quick tip. You don't have to drift too far when considering a passive source of income. If you must, then seek professional advice before you make any investment decisions. Here's an illustration on how I could expand my operations as a freelancer. I work full-time as a freelance content creator, animator, and brand consultant. There is always a cap on the number of hours I can work daily. At peak performance, I could dish out 12 hours of work broken into bits. To earn passively, I could expand my team by bringing in two extra hands. This way, I'll be able to take on more clients, earn more, and have more time to do other things. The golden rule of passive investment is that you should never invest in something you are unfamiliar with. They track everything. This is called budgeting. Do you know how much you spent on entertainment last month? How much you were able to save? I bet you don't. Rich people know where their income goes to. Poor people, on the other hand, just spend. Contrary to the popular belief that rich people live lavish lifestyles, most wealthy people are not only frugal spenders, they budget and keep track of everything. Money expert Chris Hogan conducted a study on millionaires in his book Everyday Millionaires and discovered that 93% of those interviewed stuck to their budget. This is one of the secrets. Rich people have a rough overview of how much they are expecting every month, whether from salary or extra income, and they know where all the money is going. Having a budget helps you stick to your money goals and reflects how you will achieve them. When creating a budget, think about your short and long-term goals. Interact with your budget on the go, and if you overspend in one category, look for a way to balance it up in another. Finally, on budgeting, don't forget to set aside at least 20% of your income for savings. Most rich people use the 50-30-20 model. 50% of their income goes into living expenses like rent, groceries, and bills. 30% goes into entertainment, and the remaining 20% goes to the savings account. They know their most valuable currency. Take a short pause and then answer this question. What is your most valuable asset? If you said money, then you'd be wrong. Whilst poor people spend their time to save money, rich people spend their money to save time. Time should be your most valued asset and you should never waste it. It is possible to recover lost money, but absolutely impossible to recover lost time. Rich people buy more time by delegating less important tasks. One of the early mistakes I made in business was trying to do everything by myself. In 2016, I launched a pickup and delivery service that allowed merchants to incorporate pay-on delivery into their payment option. My few attempts at recruiting employees were unsuccessful. They just didn't have the same drive I did. So, I went from being the founder to being the delivery guy. On some days, I spent over 12 hours on the road. Yes, I got the job done to my satisfaction, but I couldn't be in more than one place at a time. Pitching to new clients or trying to be innovative also flew out the window because I was generally exhausted at the end of every business day. Seek professional help. As a spillover from knowing your most valued asset, don't try to be a jack of all trades. The wealthiest people are not often the most hardworking people or the smartest in the room. A lot of the time, they take expert advice before making investment decisions. A financial advisor, through experience, may be able to suggest the best investment strategies you may not have considered to reach your financial goals faster. While some people may feel that hiring a financial advisor would be expensive, there are easier ways to go about this. 
I have a banker friend, and occasionally I seek his advice on how to invest my money. Plus, I also get early tips of what might happen in the banking industry before it does. If you can, befriend a financial guru. In conclusion, wealth does not come overnight. By being responsible with your money, tracking your spending, buying more time, and asking for help when you need it, you can steadily build your wealth.